So this is Godiva's food, and there's Rexy's food. Godiva's food is not for you, is it, Rexy? No. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Claire and Rags, and do you have a cat who has special dietary needs? Well, I know it's a bit niche, but it's something I have experience with. So Rags and I are going to be sharing some tips and advice for you today to how to care with a cat with special dietary needs. Now, I'm not telling you how to diagnose your cat with any food intolerances or allergies. That's not my job. That is the job of your vet. So if you have any concerns um, around your cat or you have any suspicions they may be allergic to something, go straight to your vet and they can help you out. I'm just going to show you some tips on how you can care for a cat with dietary needs, especially if it's something that is you're not really used to. Now, a few years ago, Godiva, the other cat in our house, um, became very, very sick. She lost a lot of weight, she was throwing up a lot, wouldn't eat her food and was messing in the house uh, and that kind of thing. She was really, really poorly and it wasn't actually apparent what was wrong with her. Now after a lot of vet visits um, and quite major surgery, it was finally diagnosed that Godiva had inflammatory bowel disease. Now this means that Godiva can only have one kind of food and one kind of food only. She is not allowed to eat anything else that isn't this particular venison and pea food, otherwise she'll become very sick again. Now firstly, if you have a cat with dietary needs and another cat who doesn't, like we do, you need to make sure that their food areas are completely separate and neither cat can get to each other's food. This is especially important um, so Godiva can't have any access to Rex's food because if she did manage to get to her food and have a bit, she would become quite sick. So Godiva has her own food space in the kitchen and Rexy has hers in our bathroom. Now both cats can't get to this and this just ensures that both cats stay away from each other's food and they stay healthy. This also goes for your food too. Godiva's very good at jumping up on the kitchen counter and if someone's left some food out, she can have a bit of a nibble. Again, this will make her sick, so if you have the same problem, just make sure that whenever you have food out, that it's put away or it's far from any reach of your cat. Now, as barbaric as it sounds, cats with special dietary needs are not really allowed extra treats. Now, Rexy has the occasional dreamy if she's been good, but Godiva, unfortunately, can't partake in this particular treat. But, as we know, treats don't always have to be food. You can schedule some extra playtime with your cat, get them a horde of wonderful toys, or you can just give them a cuddle, um, some attention, and a nice groom. Now, Rexy doesn't get treats often, as she does put on weight rather easily. So if she's been particularly good at the vet, I'll take her home and we'll have a good groom. She absolutely loves it. Now, this is important not just for cats with special dietary needs, but also cats in general. It's very important for you to keep up to date with boosters, shots and vet visits. Now, cats usually have a yearly scheduled vet visit, but Godiva has a couple of extra ones, just to keep an eye on her progress and make sure um, everything's going well with her diet and her day-to-day -day well-being. Your cat, like Godiva, may need extra medication. Godiva was on steroids for quite a while. Um, and if you have any um, questions or queries or concerns about your cat being on steroids or on medication, don't be afraid to go to your vets with any questions you have. The welfare of your cat is a top priority for you, but also high priority for your vet too. It's their job to make sure that their patients are well and cared for. And finally, this is a bit of a funny one, but if your cat is a prolific hunter and is prone to bringing outside animals inside, it might be a good idea if your cat has special dietary needs that they become an inside cat. Now this might seem a bit cruel for cats who love going out in the garden and going hunting, but it just reduces the likelihood of your cat eating something that they shouldn't. Now Godiva used to be a very good hunter and she would bring things in occasionally. Though she wouldn't eat the whole thing, she would sometimes have a nibble and inevitably that did make her sick. Now if this isn't possible for your cat to become an outdoor cat for some reason, it might be a good idea to get them a collar with a bell on it. This will alert any sort of critters around that your cat is about and hopefully make it a lot harder for them to catch anything and have a bit of a bite. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you found these tips useful and interesting. Now if you have a cat who has special dietary needs, do let me know in the comment section below. I might have missed a few tips or you might have some additional ones to share with us. Let us know, Rex and I do love hearing about our lovely viewers and their cats. Now if you did enjoy the video, please give us a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and the notifications button to make sure you don't miss any of our videos. We love having you here and Rex and I will see you in our next video. Bye!